Welcome back to the next episode in our series, Exploring Philippians. Maybe you remember Rudyard Kipling's famous poem, If. If you can keep your head when all about you are losing theirs, and so on. Paul has his own equivalent in today's passage. Let's look at Philippians 2, verses 1 to 4. Therefore, if you have any encouragement from being united with Christ, if any comfort from his love, if any common sharing in the Spirit, if any tenderness and compassion, then make my joy complete by being like-minded, having the same love, being one in spirit and of one mind. Do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves, not looking to your own interests, but each of you to the interests of the others. We saw when we looked at the last verses of chapter one that our character can be tested and revealed most when we're under pressure. That's true individually, but also collectively. So having talked to the Philippians about living for Christ through opposition and struggles, he now speaks to them about living in unity. So let's have a quick look at Paul's list of ifs. If you have any encouragement from being united with Christ. When things are hard, we need encouragement. And what can and should encourage us greatly is our relationship with Christ, because we know that he's with us and we're not alone. We know that he's working for our good. And we know that we have a wonderful eternal future with him. If we've taken hold of that and remember it, how can we not be encouraged? And that sustains us through hard times. If you have any comfort from his love. Jesus has shown the depth of his love for us through the cross. He loves you and me so much that he was prepared to do that, to give his all. And because he suffered for us, he understands our sufferings. That too is a great comfort. If you have any common sharing in the spirit. If we've invited Jesus into our hearts, then we have the gift of his Holy Spirit, who builds our relationship and fellowship, not only with God, but also with one another. If you have any tenderness and compassion, at times we may all fail miserably, but if we know Jesus and are seeking to be Christ-like, we'll want to develop these characteristics amongst others and the Spirit will grow them in us. If we have these, Paul says, then be like-minded, have the same love, be one in spirit and of one mind. These phrases all overlap, really, and they show an emphasis on his desire for unity. But what does that look like? It doesn't mean that we will all think and do the same things. God has made each one of us different, with different personalities and gifts. We think differently and will sometimes have different views. Finding the right balance here of holding on to truth and living in grace is not easy. But as Christians, we should have the same heart and aims to live for Jesus, to witness to him, to help others come to know him, to grow in faith and help each other grow in faith, to serve him as he calls us, to see his kingdom grow and to be willing to pray and work together to that end. And that requires humility and putting others first. Not easy in our society, which is full of and cultivates those things that Paul here condemns, selfish ambition and vain conceit. Me first, I'm the one that matters. I'll strive for what I want. That is not the way of Christ. Humility, however, does not mean that we consider ourselves worthless or worth less than others. It means that we choose to value others highly and put them first, to put their needs before ourselves. We choose to lay aside some of our own needs and interests to enable others to benefit. That's countercultural and it affects every area of life and all our relationships. 
We'll see more of what this looks like tomorrow when we consider the example of Jesus. But maybe it would be good to ask ourselves today, are there any areas in which I'm being selfish? How do I look upon others? Not just the people closest to us, but looking more widely, including the people we don't necessarily relate to very naturally or who are very different to us. How can we value them more highly? Let's pray. Lord Jesus Christ, we thank and praise you that you valued us so highly that you gave everything for us. Help us to develop your mindset, to be like you. Help us to grow in love and concern and action for others and in real humility. In Jesus' name. Amen.